We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest in Hungary and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Trio Adiano who is head of the center of Pusat Microelectronica Microelectronics Center in Indonesia. Mr. Adiano, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. Now you're here uh, as an SME, you're here uh, exhibiting a product, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what you brought with you. Okay, we actually make uh, uh, some radio, actually this extension of uh, smartphones, so this we call it uh, on-grid uh, communication. So it means if you don't have uh, any base stations, so you can still communicate with your uh, handset. And actually this, uh, we make this one specific application for the fisheries and rural area. So uh, in Indonesia, you know, it's very big uh, sea area and many fishermen. So they need, still need a communication in the sea. So uh, you know that in the sea, there's no signals. So they make, we make a radio extension in here. So it communicates through the base station, specific base station. So it can reach around uh, 30 kilometers. And we also make an application inside the, uh, this uh, device. For example, you can see the weather or uh, fish finders, the information that distribute by uh, governments uh, and others. So basically this uh, to help the fishermen to, to find a good place for fishing. Now this is uh, still in prototype. Yeah. Uh, I know that you've been uh, had a lot of uh, people coming around uh, that your stand. Yeah. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the, the kind of feedback that you've been getting on this. Yeah, actually there, there are some uh, audience that uh, needs uh, this one for another applications because basically this can be used in rural uh, uh, applications. And I think uh, people not only uh, interest in only the communication but also the application inside. Yeah. Not only for fishermen, I mean. And it's not just uh, Indonesia that you're looking at, but obviously you're looking at, uh, at uh, applying this around, across the globe. Yeah, basically, for example, the, the, from information that we got, uh, actually in Asia Pacific, uh, fishermen, there are a lot, so they need this one not only to find a fish, but people now in the world, they need to track where actually the fish that they eat came from. So by this kind of uh, products, we can may in the future uh, to register the fish that uh, people may fishing. So this uh, can be used uh, as a traceability of uh, uh, what the fish that we uh, got. And you've come a long way. We're here in Budapest in Hungary. Just want to find out what are you hoping to be able to take away from uh, this particular event? Yeah, I hope uh, I can communicate to many uh, people in here from uh, other countries uh, to get also the feedback of our product or maybe they can use our product in their countries. Uh, so uh, that's basically uh, what we are interested in uh, this event. Yeah. And also uh, there are a lot of uh, regulators in here. So because there's uh, RF products, so we need to find also what is the good regulation for this kind of products. So you hear very much among the decision makers, but also amongst people that hopefully will be able to take your product and uh, and use it in their in their areas in their geograf geographical areas uh, around the world. Yeah, uh, for example, in Indonesia, actually there is the operators there who are, who are interest in using this one because this can be deployed as a services also, not as a device, but services for uh, many people. Excellent. Well, we wish you the very best and thanks very much for being with us in the studio today. Yeah, thank you very much.